Good morning, everybody. There's another day, another week is here. This is Monday for me. Welcome to the new week. We have a load waiting for us just over the border into Ontario from Manitoba here. This is where I'm based out of Manitoba, Canada. We cover pretty much the Midwest, Canada, the United States, and we wander out everywhere. I have about 3,000 videos on the internet right now. Go back and check my playlist out. We've gone as far as Newfoundland out east, Florida down southeast. We've gone out to Arizona, Vancouver Island, Yukon Territory up north. We've gone everywhere. So there's lots of videos to catch up on if you're new. We make new videos all the time. Don't forget to subscribe. You can follow our journey as we navigate our way through our career in trucking. Started out in 2011 and here we are today. So let's get trucking. One lonely tarp. Hardly ever gets used. I think I've used it once. Center one. Paperwork away. Take my work glasses off. I guess it's still pretty bright outside. I should probably still be wearing my shades. So. Shades. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. All right, let's get out of here. Fully loaded, I want to get down there tonight to uh, Brainerd, it's a six hour drive from here. Get down there tonight and then uh, be waiting at the gate there for the first thing in the morning. up this hill and back onto the main highway. Two lane roads all day today. Hopefully the deer will stay in the bush. On this route between Kenora and Brainerd, especially once you get into Minnesota, there's such a ridiculous amount of deer. Like I got hit by a deer not too long ago. I think it was last fall. Like I didn't hit the deer, the deer hit me. It jumped out of the ditch as I was passing by, nicked my fent like my side fender on the back of my sleeper, went between my truck and trailer and impaled itself on my trailer and then went rolling off into the ditch. So needless to say, it didn't make it. But I don't know why it was out there picking a fight with a with a Kenworth W900, you know. You're going to lose, buddy. Stay in the bush. So many deer every time I go down here. Like I've really been thinking I should be investing into a moose bumper or a deer deer guard. Probably a nice big thick herd bumper so that at least if I hit a deer it just bounces off. Saves my truck. Because it does really mess up more than just your day when you hit a deer. It's a long process to get the truck fixed. All right. 
right, blind corner. You guys, guys flying around the corner like that, going faster than the speed limit. And I'm turning on here, there's nobody coming. I'm gonna put my four ways on, my please don't hit me lights. Still nobody coming, good. It's around the corner and on a downhill. So you got heavy trucks coming around here, going way too fast. And then you turn on and oh, it, with the guys driving out here on the roads, man, it gets, you get some close calls sometimes. There we go, beautiful. And we're rolling. still be open. Maybe they extended their hours for summertime. I hope so. I'm going to go and swing in there and check. The owner of this store is a really nice guy. He came out and shook my hand once. Apparently he found my videos on the internet and been watching every now and then. Don't know if you're watching now or not, but I'm stopping in at your store. Looks like you're open. Yep. Yep. Open signs on. Nice. Thank you. Because on Google it said they were closed already. Probably have summer hours. Fantastic. I'm gonna go give him some of my money. I think I caught them just before they closed. They must extend their business hours by one hour. Usually they would close at six o'clock. But uh, I got there at about 10 minutes to seven and it looked like they were wrapping everything up and closing down the store already. I was able to get a coffee but they were cleaning up the coffee machines and everything, so I got there just in time. What's this guy doing here? collection on my windshield. 
You like them? I tried to pick the best ones. So this is a Reamer or Remmer, Minnesota. About one hour from Brainerd. And there's a truck wash there that's open. Oh, I have to remember that. That'd be a good place to wash the truck. Huh. I'll have to look that up on Google later. But I just found my next truck wash. Right on my route, too. Well, the morning came quick. I've got my tarps here all rolled up, put away already. We're just getting my truck unloaded. Another truck just arrived there. He'll be getting unloaded after me. It was a good trip. Oh, you see they spread his load out like that on the flatbed. You remember last week I had a flatbed and they wanted to load me like that and spread it out over the whole deck. It, that's good to do that for long hauls. This is just a six hour run. So I had stopped them, I requested them to stack it up shorter and higher. I was still only 12 and a half feet high, so I wasn't over height. But that way, with it squished together like that on the trailer, I only had to use two tarps instead of all three. Saves me a little bit of time. Tricks of the lazy man. Why use three tarps if you only have to use two? Just squish the freight together and it goes a little bit higher. Now, like I said, on a longer haul, if you were like driving across the country, yeah, put the three tarps on, get it lower so that the air flows over it better, you'll save money and fuel. But just a six hour drive down here through the bush, there's no wind in the bush. Stack it up high, I only wanna roll up two of those. Work smarter, not harder. All right, still got all my stuff here from last night. And quickly ran in here as soon as I got here. So now we've got to get out of here. Turn the windows down. Let them know we're about to do something. There we go. start taking his tarps off while he was waiting there. Huh. Guess he's not in any rush. Beautiful day out today. All right, I'm gonna park over here and call in, see what's next. And we'll probably start tomorrow's video then, as soon as we get going. And that's it for today, we got the load delivered. So I do have my new marching orders, that'll be on tomorrow's vlog, we'll talk about that then. I've gotta get moving, so we're gonna end this vlog and start tomorrow's. So don't forget to subscribe and tune in tomorrow, 4 p.m. Central Time, here in North America. We'll hang out again for another day, showing you the daily life of trucking in Canada and the US. Not every day is exciting, sometimes there's a few boring days, in a row but to be honest no day in trucking is really boring at least not for me behind the wheel I love what I do and I love sharing it with you I just understand some days there's not as much video content for you guys but thanks for hanging out anyways and sticking with me and to all you guys who've been following me for oh, 
a long time. Some of you over 10 years. Some of you have met me, shook my hand and said, hey, I grew up watching you. And now I'm driving a truck myself. You know, if I still had hair, that would have just turned a few more of them gray when you tell me that, but <laughs> I'm okay with that. Thanks for telling me that. I don't, you don't have to worry about that. I got a few coming in here, so. These are wisdom hairs. They are hairs of experience. Every new one is new experience until the whole thing is white and then I have reached peak experience, right? <laughs> so thanks for hanging out. Please remember to subscribe down below. We make new videos every day. If you want to support the channel, you can do it as easily as leaving a comment down below, sharing my videos with your friends on social media, uh, hitting that like button, all that stuff is free. Uh, and you can support the channel that way. It sends my video out to more through the algorithm that way when YouTube sees that people are engaging with it. I appreciate that. If you want to go one step further, you really like my vlogs, you tune in every day, you've been watching for a long time, you can go down below my video and click the join now button. It'll, it'll explain how you can become a member for like the cost of a cup of coffee a month. You get early access to all my videos and a special little badge beside your name in the comments as well. Your comments also get sent to a different inbox for me, which I see first and I definitely see all of those right away. I see all the comments. I read them all, despite what you might think. I read them all, but those ones get sent to a special inbox and they sort of get prioritized in my feed that way. Okay, we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. See you later.